Roald Dahl based the story of the grandmother on his own mother, and her role is very much to tell stories. It starts very tragically with his own parents being killed in a car crash. So she then pretty much adopts the boy. And then from there it's the grandmother and the boy pretty much forever and they create a lovely team and you teach me about the witches. She tells him, she describes to him that witches are bald, they wear wigs. She's wearing gloves because she doesn't have fingernails. Big Just nose holes to one. sniff out stink waves of children. She has no toes. I don't give out stink waves, do I? Well, not to me you don't, okay. but to witches. All children smell like fresh dog's droppings. Sort of getting the audience involved is such a love lovely and strong part of Roald Dahl's work and also I think this production. There's a lovely moment where there's a bit of a circus and I do a few magic tricks and really really lovely to get all the kids involved shouting and screaming and getting their energies pumped up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome and prepare to be amazed. I think a lot of the music um, is it's, it has a punk era to it, which the design does as well. Our musical director has written it and he's lulled us into, he would like to reassure you. As our town gets underway, no matter how bad things may seem. It will always turn out okay in most other stories, but this isn't ours. In most other stories, this is a Roald Dahl story. Ah! It goes from a glossy sort of Disney scene to a, a very Disney into yeah. punk. It, yeah, which I think is is it's a good stab to the show to open with. It's, a, it's and I think it celebrates Dahl that yeah, way as does. well. That it's it's not as it seems. It's not a fairy tale. Who's on your side and who wants to skin you?